Last night, I made it to Ultimate Champion using this Golem deck right here. I'm going to be using it in Ultimate Champion today. Currently ranked 533. I did rank around 1630 medals or something like that. I dropped a little bit. The games are super tough. Just keep going against Giant and whatnot. Uh, the meta is still tough, but hey, we made it to UC. So we're just going to hop right into some games and see what's up. See if this deck still is going to work for us. All right, we got Essa. Good luck to you. We got Zap in hand. Always like to go Zap. First play, no matter what. All right, I also like to go Night Witch into the Lava Hound. So we get our bats accumulating in case they go Inferno or whatever. Usually baits out another card like Skeleton Dragons. I also like to go Void onto the Skeleton Dragons. Because when the Lava Hound is low, also Bats can take him out. He's probably going to Void here. We'll see what happens. We're just going to Arrow. And Zap. Now we are cycled to our Zap Evo if we need that. And now we know that he's just going to keep doing that. He uses Inferno. So let's go on with our golem. So by the time it gets there, even if he has barbarians, we will have our Evo Zap ready to deal with what he has. And also we have Phoenix for defense, which is huge. We're going to go bomber for these barbarians. Honestly, really bad barbarians on his part. We'll go LP here. Honestly, a waste of a void too, because we're just going to chip away at those skeleton dragons. Same with that snowball. I mean, I don't really know why he would do all that. I mean, he is going to defend. But at what cost? But at what cost? I am going to void because he's not going to give me any void value. And the only thing I could void would be his Lava Hound, which I would leak Elixir. Hey, I know what I'm doing, bro. I know what I'm doing. Don't question my moves. <laughs> don't question my moves, bro. Just place your Lava Hound, and we will be coming for you. Thank you. We're going to get a nice combo going on here with the Bomber. And our... Uh, bomber's going to die. But we're going to Evo Zap anyway. He's got to go his barbs. We're going to go arrows as well to take him out. Our Golem's still alive. Bats are chipping away. Phoenix chipping away. We're going to easily win this game. We got two Phoenixes down. We got LP. We're going to pop LP ability. And there's no way that you were coming back. Big brain, bro. Big brain. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, GGs. I'll see you guys in the next game. All right, we got Yamazaki. Good luck to you. Let's just cycle our skeletons. Is this going to be that princess deck? Or is it going to be Expo? I think it's going to be Expo. When you see archers, prepare for Expo. There it is. Let's pop our ability. Hopefully it takes out that archer. It does. I'm going to go void here. We're going to take some damage. But not that bad. Now what we could do here is go Golem and just sacrifice. And just get a push going now. And just deal with the Expo a little bit later. I think I'm going to try and do that right now. Little Prince might... No... No, it doesn't. Let's arrow onto these archers. Let's get Bomber down. Take care of some skellies. He's going to fireball. We're going to take care of the knight. We're going to get some bats. He gets the electro spirit. But Golemites are going to get some nice chip damage. And we're going to be in the damage lead for now. I like the position we're at right now. Just gonna cycle skellies. 
Cycle my Night Witch, get prepared for an expo at the bridge. Go ability. Get my void down. And we gotta use our evil bomber here. We are gonna get some bat chip, almost. We're pretty even on tower health right now. I can get my golem down time. Barely in time. <laughs> Literally barely. Well, we'll have to go LP here. I'm also gonna go arrows. I'm just gonna cycle my Night Witch. Also cycle my Bomber. I'm just gonna get Golem up high here. I'm gonna void this. Get Evo Skellies down on this Knight. Get some arrows down right here. Get my Bomber and cycle. Alright, we go Golem right here. He doesn't have Tornado. We gotta go Night Witch here. Also gonna go Skeletons. Let's just go Void onto this. So our Golem can get to the tower. A little bit faster. Let's get that. This. Expo locked onto the Golemites. That's huge. And... There's literally no way we lose this game. Literally no way we lose. Let's just cycle our skellies again. I think we just get a lightning down now. And that's going to be... GG's. Let's get arrows down here. Evo Bomber. Coming in clutch. Let's get LP down. LP ability. Let's get Void down on the Expo. Lightning the tower. Good game to our opponent. Now, I really do prefer this deck over the other one just because it's faster cycle. But there is one more deck that I do want to show you guys that I've also been doing pretty well with. It's a little bit more expensive. It's the Evo Knight Wizard deck. Uh, it's very similar to this, but it's just a little bit more expensive. Just gonna keep cycling now with the lumberjack. I think he's running golem. So in this matchup, I think going golem, like once you realize your opponent's going golem, especially in this e-barb matchup, I think it's very beneficial to go just because like you have such a cheap cycle and it's easier to get kind of outplayed here. And we really need to not let the golem get chip damage. So, okay, he has Wizard as well. He puts it in the unvoidable spot, so... We'll, we'll just get him with the Lightning. Uh, actually, we won't. I won't be too greedy, because I'm pretty, like 99% sure he's running Elite Barbs with this deck. And if he is... Lightning will be very beneficial. Now I'm going to go Golem. He's going to go Night Witch Golem at the bridge. Most likely here. Or he could go E-Barb's opposite lane. He's probably going to try and go E-Barb's opposite lane. Uh, very soon. I would guess. Nope. He's just going to keep defending. Probably a smart decision. Alright, let's go with the Evo Bomber here. It's going to get some nice value here. Help us on defense. Now, he could just go E-Barbs. I'm going to go Golem right here in case he does. Either way. Then we're going to go Night Witch in the back. And we're going to do our best to get rid of this Wizard. I'm going to Lightning, see what happens. Let's also Arrows. Okay. I think we Void here. 
Let's get some more troops, Evo Skellies. Arrows. And all we gotta do is void the tower. Lightning. And we win the game. Easy peasy. Let's go. Alright, we got our next match against L. Alex 2 Ma. Good luck to you. We're gonna cycle our skellies. And it is the Elixir Golem. I did beat Elixir Golem to get Ultimate Champion. If you guys want to see that, I'll be posting that highlight on my TikTok. So go over there to check out that clip. We got it on stream. Okay, we got to lightning this ASAP. We got to go skeletons here. He goes rage. We defend. Man, he says, oops. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to go golem. Wow. Uh, good luck. We'll go Night Witch. It's like the... The Elixir Golem's like the baby brother of Golem. Uh, you know, it's okay. You can get beat up sometimes, but I'd say majority of the time, Bigger Brother is going to come out victorious. I could go Evo Skellies if I want to be greedy, but I think we'd literally... Yeah, I'm go I'm gonna actually do that. Yeah, he has to use arrows. Now I could go golem again, but I feel like we could be a little bit easily punished. I'm gonna do it anyway. Just to see what happens here. Yeah, he's gonna go opposite lane. So I think the move here is to not go Night Witch into that same lane because golem can take it out by himself his focus is going to be on this lane and if we stack up our cards we won't be able to get voided and we also need a lightning down to take care of this let's also get oh we we can't get our ability but it doesn't really matter golem's on the tower we're gonna get a golem going this way we're gonna get another night witch we're going to void onto this wizard. We almost get it. Let's get LP. Some skeletons down. We're going to lightning this dragon. Let's get night witch. Lock the void. Pop LP ability. Shreds everything. Golem in the pocket. Skeletons in the pocket. Evo Skellies, too much to handle. That's one of my favorite things to do. The Golem and Evo Skellies combo is tragic. Good game, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. All right, we're not switching decks just yet because this deck is working for me. I'm on a nice win streak. Don't want to ruin the win streak just by switching decks. Let's go Skeletons again. I'm just going to go Bomber as well. Uh, he goes arrows. I'm just gonna go Night Witch. See what he has. You gonna place anything? Oh, this is gonna be Lava Hound. Let's go Golem in the back right here. I'm gonna get Void onto this Inferno Dragon. He's gonna get Void down. I'm gonna get Skeletons. Kind of protect a little bit. Doesn't really, but... Hey. Bad is going to take out that bomber kind of takes out the barbarians. Now, I I think we'll be fine against this Lava Hound deck because we do have a faster cycle. But at the same time, I don't know. We'll have to see. I think we're going to keep the pressure up, though. Go Night Witch into this lane. You probably go Lava Hound. If not, he's going to have to keep. Yeah, he does go Lava Hound. I don't really think that's a good move for him, but we'll see how it works out. 
Bats are going to build up onto that. We're going to get Void down now. Takes out the Inferno. Let's get Little Prince down here. We take out the tower with ease. I'm just going to go Evo Skellies. Force him to do something. Yeah, I don't... Does he even see that? Oh, the Evo Skelly's still alive. That's tragic. Um, GG's. That's probably one of the quickest games I've ever played. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we're still not going to switch decks, I guess. Uh, not sure how to pronounce this guy's name, but... Good luck to you, and he's probably going to be using the really annoying Rocket Spam. So with the Rocket Spam deck, I'm just guessing that's what it is. If it's not, whatever. If it is, it's so beneficial to go Golem immediately. Because you want your, also you want your Lightning in Void so that you can break through like really early on. You need to break through. And that's what we're going to try and do here. Lightning this. Let's get Bomber. It's going to be so much harder to get chip damage later down the line. So getting it now is so needed. Uh, we popped ability, but it's going to refund us saying that we didn't get it. Even though the whistle was alerted. Not sure what that's about. Uh, it happens to me all the time. Skeletons do take out the princess. Very nice. And yeah, we're just going to keep getting a golem. And if he doesn't start cycling a rocket, uh, he's kind of screwed. And yeah, pushing with golem and single elixir, mo majority of the time isn't a good thing. But with this matchup specifically, you have to. Or else like later down the line, it's going to be so hard to even like compete. Okay, he goes his Evo Tesla. We gotta take care of it. I'm also gonna arrow the princess. But Golem's gonna get straight shot to the tower right now. Bats are on it. We could lightning. I think it would be a little bit overkill for now. I mean, we really could. But I'm actually gonna get my Evo Bomber. Oh. Yeah, Evo Bomber's probably the move there. Let's just get our... Little Prince, pop LP ability. He's gonna pop his. Let's just get Golem down. Let's just go Void. And take care of the Princess and do decent damage to that Knight. Let's just arrow onto this. Assert our dominance. I'm just gonna Lightning this, why not? Why not? Golemites will get to the tower. I'm gonna void this. He's gotta go princess or something. Let's go with arrows. We're just playing it safe. I have been overwhelmed and I have lost these matchups before. It's It was pretty brutal. Bomber gets a hit on the tower. Let's go. We're now push up to 489. Let's go. Let's see where we are on the local leaderboards. We're 64. Now, I want to keep pushing up because we were a little bit closer down to the bottom, which is uh, not exactly where I want to be. We got uh, one of my friends, CT3, up here. I'm pretty sure he's using P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, he's P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Band player. We got Boss up there. Let's see who else is up here. Do I know anybody? Invaders up here. Um, This guy is using Golem. It's a different like version of Golem. Like I've used it, but I, I could not use that version of the deck. I guess he's doing good with it. Juicy's up here twice. Insane. Uh, Ian's at the top, of course. As to be expected. All right. Let's keep pushing. I mean, I'm not going to switch decks until I lose. Uh, so if you guys see the video cut to the new deck, you just know that I lost. We got Fisherman, No Little Prince, Void, Arrow. Like basically same deck, but with just some heavier troops. I think this would have been a better matchup against that 
Giant deck. Fisherman is all, always a good matchup. But let's get right into the games. See if we can do better. If not, whatever. We'll just end it there. We got a nice push going. Almost 200 medals. Can't really be too mad about that. And I think this season I'm going to try and push more off camera. Uh, actually, not like off camera, but more on YouTube than on my streams. Because the sad reality about me streaming all the time is that I got a lot of people that don't like me. And they like to stream snipe me because they think it's funny. And they also just don't want to see me get top 1000. So the best thing that I can do is play off stream. Now they can still, they can still like know who I am and have an advantage that way. But it's like I I only play gold, so knowing knowing what I have prior to playing just really helps helps you out. Same way if you were to go on Royal API and look up someone's deck, you would play a lot better knowing what they have. So we know that this guy is playing Lava Hound. So let's go with our Night Witch. And I'm going to Void on the Infernal Dragon. He does block it, but I'm fine with that early on. Let's see what he does here. He, I was expecting a Balloon. I, I generally was. He can Void it, but... Uh, arrows... Does kind of save us there. Not really, though. Yeah, okay, so he's probably going to go Lava Hound. I'm thinking we just go Knight here. I did, like, I could have went Golem, but I don't think it would have been the best to do that right now. I'm still going to get a Void down on this, even though he is going to block it. Going to get Wizard down here. Now he could go with his balloon again, but he doesn't. I'm going to go Fisherman in front of this wizard and see what he does here. Okay, he counters it super easily. Now, if I go Golem, he can just go Balloon and really punish us, but I feel like we need to get a Golem down now, especially since it's double Elixir. Garrett Golden Night Witch. Now I could go Knight Wizard Opsilane, but I don't think that's going to help us much. I'm going to try and get a Lightning down on this and Arrow. That. He has Barbarians. Yeah, this is going to be really tough for us. I think we're in an okay position though. We're getting some decent damage. Let's just go Night Witch. Let's go with our Knight. He's going to arrow that. I think. Let's just get our Fisherman down. I'm going to go Golem. And we're going to go Wizard too. So, go Knight. Let's get arrows down for that Bomber. Let's get Fisherman on this Wizard. I don't know if this was the move here. Because... Yeah. He's... He's just a couple chip damage away from getting us. Let's go arrows here. Let's go fishermen. Let's just go void. I think we got to keep the pressure up now. If not, I I don't think we're coming back from this one. Let's go arrows. Maybe we could spell cycle them.
No way. No way. Good game, bro. Wow. What a... Whew. 36 medals for winning that? Let's go. Let's go. How much did we lose from the past 27? Let's go. We're... We're up on medals. We're on a good, nice win streak. Wow, one, two, three, four, five. Lost one. We gained 36, so doesn't really matter where we at. 487, not bad. Let's keep it going. That was so close. <laughs> now, in those matchups, I really wish I had Phoenix instead of Fisherman. But the problem is, if I do that, then we, if we go up against, let's say, like Giant, then Giant is you know gonna be an issue now maybe it wouldn't be like it's it's hard to tell because usually i won't yeah here here we got giants so we'll see we'll see if fisherman even makes a difference here uh most likely he might have void so we got to go night here to kind of deter that from happening but fisherman here definitely gonna help us out a lot more he has Executioner, which is, you know, terrible for us. But let's go Fisherman right here. Really bad Fisherman on my part, honestly. I'm going to go Arrows on this. Uh, I mean, at least we cycle the Fisherman. But that, was, that was really bad. Okay, he has Zap. Probably Evo Zap. Uh, I didn't really see or pay attention, so uh, my bad. Oh, he's got Mini P.E.K.K.A. I hate mini P.E.K.K.A. with Giant. If he just goes Giant here, it's bad for us. Yep, alright. We just gotta put all of our troops down right here. Okay. Okay, we kind of defend this. I'm just gonna go Fisherman. He's probably just gonna go E-Wiz. Nope, he goes uh, Barbarians. But our Fisherman is on the tower. The Dagger Duchess has no health. He's got a Zap. There, there's the Zap. Our Fisherman does so much damage right there. Uh, does he have Fisherman? I don't think he has Fisherman. I don't think he does. So, we're gonna go Golem. In hopes that he doesn't. He just used Barbarians. He has Executioner, though. But, with our Lightning and Arrows, that does take it out. If he decides to put anything else with it. I think right now we won't go Night Witch because it will just die to the Executioner. But we, let's just see what else he puts down. He just goes Giant. I'm going to Lightning. Uh, we did not get the Executioner, unfortunately. Um, but we get the Mini P.E.K.K.A. So can't really be too upset. I'm going to go Void on the Executioner. It should be taken out. We get some chip damage on these barbarians i'm just gonna go fisherman here to kind of mitigate the damage um we might be going lightning yep good lightning i think we're playing pretty well right now let's just cycle night let's go night witch and then void kind of get him distracted a little bit okay he He's prepared. Let's go with Wizard. Um, that's kind of it's kind of okay, I guess. For us, Night Fisherman, Fisherman on the tower. Oh, so close. That was so close, guys. I'm gonna wait. Let's go wizard now. Let's just go fisherman up here. Night. We're gonna have to go lightning. Oh, we get... If we got it, let's go. We arrow this. This is huge. Let's go wizard. He uses poison. We cycle Night Witch in the back. This is amazing position for us. Let's just go Knight. Let's just go Fisherman. Lightning. Arrows. 
takes all of that out. He's got to use Barbarians. We're just going to go Wizard and Knight. He just used his Evo Zap. Can't use it on our Fisherman. Giant's going to die. We're going to get Golem down. He can't really defend this too well. I mean, he can, but he can't at the same time. Arrows. Should take out everything. Let's just go Void here. Let's go another Fisherman. Void takes out the tower. Let's go. We're back on another win streak. I lost two in a row. And that usually means take a break. I got to be better at taking breaks when I lose two in a row. The game recommends that once you lose a couple in a row, a couple means two, uh, two or more. So, you know, I could play another, I could win it. But the way that I have realized that the algorithm works is that once you like lose two games in a row, like we did here, we went on a pretty nice streak uh, prior. Um, so we won one, lost two, and then we went on a nice streak. Sorry, went on a nice streak. Lost one, we won two, and then we lost two. I guarantee you if I play, I'll probably win, but it'll be a very hard matchup. Uh, maybe we switch up the deck. But at the same time, I've given you guys three different decks here to work with. Let's just go over them again. So it's the Knight Wizard deck here. We got the Fast Cycle Skelly Bomber Evo. And then we also have the... Where is it? Oh, uh, we had Phoenix. Here, I'll just change it real quick. Phoenix and the Evo Zap instead of the Skeletons and Lightning. Both work, have their advantages, disadvantages, whatever works for you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave some comments, likes. I would appreciate that. Appreciate you guys' support. We'll be back tomorrow. And where we finish off today, 518. Can't really complain. We're early season. I was around, what, 1,400 medals at the start. Let's see. Yeah, we started at 1495. Pushed up almost 100 medals. Can't be too upset. Uh, I will be pushing later tonight on TikTok. So make sure you guys come over there. Check out the stream. But peace out.